Video 0105, In-Depth Interface, the Insert tab. Once again, I've opened a sample family. It doesn't matter which one you use. From the ribbon, click on the Insert tab. At first glance, it appears that something's broken. The majority of the tools aren't active. This tab is identical to the Insert tab in your Revit project. And although there is a link panel, you cannot link external files into a Revit family. The majority of the work we're going to do is from the import panel. But you can also see in this panel that some of the commands are greyed out. This may be because we can only insert certain things in particular views. Let's take the image for example. If I open a floor plan, you'll see that the image command is available. I can click on here but we are told that the imported image will not be visible in projects. The most likely use of this would be if you had a photograph of the object that you're trying to create. Having it as a reference in the actual family could aid you in the design and production of that family. So from the import panel, I can click on import CAD, browse to a folder, select a DWG file or a DXF, a MicroStation DGN, an ACES SAT file, or a SketchUp file, and import that into my Revit family. Importing family types allows me to browse to a family catalog file and import the types from there. Also on the import panel is this little arrow. This allows me to change line weights based on the color in an imported drawing file. Next, we have Load from Library. This allows me to load a family into my current family. Or, I can load objects as a group. Again, we will look at these in more detail later on. We can then also browse to Autodesk Seek, download a family, drawing, or a specification, and if we want to, load it into our current family. And finally, the Family Editor. Here we can load the family into the Revit project.